Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the Black & Decker Four Slice Toaster Oven. It can bake, broil, toast or warm food. The unit is stainless steel with a glass door and the handle is comfortable. It's 8.5 inches tall, 15 inches wide and 10 inches deep. The cord is 21 inches long. Comes with a crumb tray, a bake pan slash drip tray, and the slide rack slash broil rack. The top knob is the temperature selector, the second knob is the cooking function selector, and the third knob is the toast and timer selector. This is the power indicator light. To keep food warm, turn the knob to warm. To keep warm here, move the knob to 10, and then back or forward the desired warming time. You can use the bake pan as a drip tray and put it under the slide rack and you can put your food directly on the rack. You can use metal, oven proof glass or ceramic without glass lids in the oven. Just make sure to keep the top of the container at least one and a half inches away from the upper heating elements. When baking or cooking, the manual says to preheat the oven for at least 10 minutes at the desired temperature. I haven't always done that and everything I've put in the oven still came out nice and hot. To bake, select the temperature first. I'll put it on 350. Turn the function knob to bake. Turn the timer selector to 10 and then turn back or forward to desired baking time. It goes from 10 to 20 all the way down to 30 on the bottom. You can select stay on if you want to cook something for longer than 30 minutes or if you want to just control the amount of time you want to cook something. The oven will just stay on until you turn it off. When you're toasting, you don't have to preheat the oven. Set the temperature selector knob to toast. Set the cooking function knob to toast. The indicator light will come on and stay on until the toasting cycle is complete. When the toast cycle is complete, you will hear a ding and the indicator light will go off. It works well for toasting and reheating food that would turn soggy in the microwave. I'll make toast, reheat leftovers, and bake frozen food to test the unit. First, I'll toast two slices of wheat bread. You can fit four slices horizontally. Put your food in and turn the toast shape selector knob to 10. And then turn back to the desired toast shade. I'm using the lightest setting. When your food is done, you'll hear a ding and the indicator light will go off. The rack is hot, so use oven mitts to slide it out. It's been three minutes and this is what the toast looks like. It's lightly toasted and pretty even. This is the other side and as you can see, the bottom is more brown than the top. The lightest toast setting works best for regular bread. Now I'll toast an everything bagel that was frozen. I defrost it in the microwave for 20 seconds and cut it in half. I'm toasting the bagel using the medium setting, which is half shaded in. This is after three and a half minutes. It is brown, so if you like it this way, use the medium setting. For me, I'll stick with the lightest setting. Frozen waffles. After 2 minutes 30 seconds on the lightest toast setting, there's not much color, but it is toasted. It's crispy and it's done. This is a good setting for waffles. Corn muffins. On the medium toast setting. They're toasted pretty evenly. These are leftover meatballs and french fries. You do not want to heat up fries in the microwave because they'll be soft. Don't use foil on any part of this unit. I'll heat this up at 200 degrees. After five minutes, the fries are hot. The fries are crispy on the outside and very hot and soft inside. If you're heating up a large piece of fried chicken or any large food, cut it in half and separate it so the inside heats up as well as the outside. The meatballs are warm outside but not hot inside. They will take a few more minutes. If I had cut them in half, they would be done at the same time as the fries. Five minutes is really quick to have crispy hot food that would otherwise taste awful from the microwave. Next I'll bake frozen fish fillets and frozen mozzarella sticks. 425 degrees, bake 20 minutes. The glass is hot and the handles are cool. The top of the unit is hot. 
Many of us store a loaf of bread on top of the toaster and forget about it. I've done that and had melted plastic. So it is a good idea not to store anything on top of the toaster oven. After 20 minutes, it's nice and golden brown. The mozzarella sticks are bursting, so they could have been taken out a few minutes earlier. Before cleaning, make sure the oven is off, unplugged, and is cool. The glass door can be cleaned with a sponge or a soft cloth and some soapy water. Don't use a spray glass cleaner. The rack can also be washed with soapy water or in the dishwasher. The baking pan can be washed in soapy water and not in the dishwasher. It's recommended to use a polyester or nylon pad to avoid scratching. The crumb tray can be pulled out, wipe it off with a damp cloth and just dry before putting it back in the oven. The tray will get stained very quickly, especially if you don't wash it frequently. A good scrubbing will get it clean. The Black & Decker toaster oven did a great job of quickly toasting, baking, and reheating. The food was crispy and hot. It's compact, efficient, and affordable. I hope you found this review helpful. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.